What's up guys? So today I'm going to try and attempt to repair a rim with 3M yellow super weather strip and gasket adhesive. So I'm going to get the car jacked up real quick. So you should always have the parking brake on just in case if the car was going to roll or if the jack breaks. So I'm going to be using everything at home. I do not have a tire machine, so I'm going to attempt breaking the bead. I will show you guys that. Now, most shops will not repair a cracked rim. They will suggest you to just get a, a new one. All right, so first I'm gonna take off the tire. Now this can go either really good or really bad. Got our tire off. Okay, so I'm going to let all the air out of the tire first. I'm just going to use this little screw to press down the core. I'm going to attempt using the rotor to break the bead, which is the bead that goes around the whole entire rim. So I've never done this before. I just thought of it. We're going to see if it works. Crack on this rim is on the inside, I believe. And it might be hard to see. Crack is right here. Put the crack right underneath the rotor and jack the car up a little bit. Now if this works, it works. If it fails, it fails. So you're gonna want it about a finger width away from the rim, just to be safe. Take your jack and slowly let it down. So now you can see that it is just past the rim. Now I'm going to go the rest of the way. So now you can see this rotor is basically all the way down. And that'll give us enough room to go over and around that crack and try to seal it with this 3M gasket adhesive. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but we're gonna find out. Well, like I said, I've never done this before, but I'm thinking this should be enough room to get some around in the back. Okay, so all I can say is whenever you're using this 3M stuff, I'd highly advise you to wear gloves because I tried it once and once it dries, it almost never comes off. I'm just gonna start with a little bit on my finger, I guess. Like I said, as you can see, I've never done this before, so I'm just gonna give it a shot. As you can see, this stuff is very messy and it's just coming out uncontrollably. Got it everywhere. Jack up the car so that the bead seats again and hopefully it seals. And I have no tips, but all I can say is just try not to get it on your rotor because that might affect braking in the future. I flipped over the rim now. I'm about to hook this guy up. It's a Carson tire inflator. I suggest you get one. Work really good. They're pretty fast. Set it to whatever pressure you want for your tire. And when it, once it reaches that pressure, it'll automatically shut off. And there's also a bright LED light. And just like that, it automatically shuts off. As you can see, it somewhat looks good. It's kind of sloppy. I think it should work fine. Better than having a flat every three days. All right, so turn your back on. And there you have it. I guess we're going to find out if it works. Well, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe give it a try yourself. Tell me if it works. Could work. See you in the next video. Peace.